here we go. So what we're gonna be doing is we're building a clone of a ruckus. Some people call them chuckuses. Um, it's actually more accurately an ice bear is uh, the name of it. And uh, they're manufactured by a lot of different Chinese uh, manufacturers, but uh, this is the one that I got. And I found it hunting around on the old Facebook marketplace for $100. Now, this thing is worth more than that in parts alone. I could part this thing out, make a fortune. But I've been wanting one of these. I've seen a lot of people on the old interwebs that, uh, you know, been building these and doing really cool things with them. Uh, what am I gonna do? Uh, I'll probably go a little performance on it because these are 50cc scooters um, or mopeds, whatever you guys call them in whatever region you're from. Uh, I call it a scooter, I don't know why, I just like, it just sounds cool. But um, uh, I think I'm gonna buy a, uh, an add-on head kit. Uh, you can bump the, the head to a big bore kit. 50 cc's will get you, I don't know, 30, 35 miles an hour if you're lucky. Uh, I want something that's gonna have a little more pep. So I think I'm gonna get the 100 kit. Um, some people say that they have cooling issues. So I'll look into it a little bit. Maybe if I get a quality head kit, um, jug as it were, you know, a new piston um, and new carburetor, uh, you're gonna wanna do that as well. Um, yeah, we'll get it going. So this wrecked one that I got, it, uh, here, let me show you. What had happened with this thing is, uh, I guess a girl that previously owned this smoked curb. And as you can see, the fork completely disconnected. The wheel doesn't look too bent, but you know, only time will tell on that. Let's see, I'm missing a turn light cover, the license plate things broke off. Um, this looks like the caliper for the front brake. The ignition is blown out. No, this is not stolen. Um, this had a police vehicle search done and I did get it re-registered um, with a new uh, moped sticker. The gauges all look Pretty fantastic. Barely got any miles on it. It's only got 1,500 miles. Um, I ordered a new ignition for this already and the new forks. The OEM forks that I found were used ones. They were like uh, 60 bucks. So my $100 scooter, as it were, is already 160. And the ignition I got, I think, was 40. Um, this has got a little cargo box that pops on the back. It's missing that blinker. Uh, everything's here. Uh, the guy started it up and ran it for me as best he could. It wouldn't stay running. You know, maybe you can help me on this. There's something that he said you have to plug on the carburetor to uh, get it running. Like it's missing like a little, you know, rubber uh, thing, I guess, to kind of choke it automatically. I don't know, you know, we'll see how that goes. Right now, my main mission since this thing doesn't roll worth crap, being front fork is broke, is just getting the new forks on um, for now. Because it is getting cold, and I don't know how much I'm going to work on this in the winter. My garage, I got a little bit of room, but I do have many projects going on in there. So, uh, we shall see. Front plate off here. I got power tools now, so we're going to use power tools. Tire, um, rear tire, uh, like 
mud protector, a fairing, whatever. And uh, it fits these pretty good, I guess. It might look kind of neat. But I still haven't decided how far I want to get into this. I'm hoping there's nothing wrong with the frame. There could be. Um, the aluminum forks are pretty soft, so I'm hoping that's all that they did was just mess that up. I don't really want to rebuild the frame, but you know, what it takes, it's what it takes. It's kind of funny, the previous owner didn't even take all the plastic wrap off the headlights and off the gauges. I guess they were just too excited they were riding. So excited they went and hit a curb. Cool. They're lost in my game, I guess. Because I wasn't looking to spend uh, what these go for, which is about 1700 bucks for the clones. That knot and bolt together. Now, better look at what's going on here. Now, I must admit, I think this is the first time I've ever changed forks on something like this. And these look a little different. What it looks like here is there's a giant. There it is. Um, let me get a good zoom on that. Or get it in focus. Giant uh, hex uh, nut there. I guess that just unscrews from your from your uh, tree here. So I think I might need a tool to do that. But in the meantime, let's get the wheel off go from there for now. front axle flatten up back on there well, front axle looks a little bent probably grab a new bolt for that as well so this bottom one is just part of the axle and I loosened it so you can just kind of pull that hardware off just like so. Keep this all oriented. Okay. Then if you look at the bottom of the, uh, the fork here, you can see, or maybe you can see, that there's a hex nut in there. So let me see if I can take that out. Is a six. Can I get that out of there? Not even sure that's how this thing comes out, but. Always love the standard metric mix, keeps it for real. Something been built in China, I think it'd be all metric, but not the case. I don't mind one over the other, just want it to be the same. It's annoying owning two toolkits.
but everybody goes through it, so. Okay, so these two are a number 12. That's how she was on there. Kind of for my record, not just yours. Whoa, look at that funky bolt. That is all twisty twisty. Probably gonna need to replace that as well. And that bolt is also twisty twisty. should mention the, the calipers or that disc is probably shot too so I will kind of out of my hand with this. Well oh, that's how they come off eh? separate but there's a gap right there. friends are how it's how you remove the front forks off an ice bear well let's see let's put the new ones on just so I can roll this back in the garage we'll put it all together loosely because uh, I need to order a lot of parts bolts well not a lot of parts just a lot of little parts here are the new forks uh, I shouldn't say new I should say used OEM forks off the same year, which I didn't mention. This is a, uh, a 2015 and uh, kind of crappy, really, because the boots are already kind of cracking. But, uh, yeah, whatever. It is what it is. Probably should have got a good aftermark. I know there's a website called like Mad Cajun or something. I see these for 90 and I paid 60. Well, it's easy. I'm going to clean these. A little brake cleaner. I'll probably maybe take these off and pan if I'm going to keep these. Which I probably will. Again, just depends on how crazy we get. This brake uh, cleaner stuff works pretty good for degumming all your junk. Takes off all the old uh, oil and dirt and all that fun stuff. New as she gonna get. Let me just clean the fork a little bit. So that's popped these forks back in. There is an example of 
Chinese engineering. We have what size bolt. These are all these are the same exact year or not. Probably not the same manufacturer. All right, well, there's my rant. That is a 12 millimeter hex. Got the old Duralast that uh, didn't have it advanced auto parts. Had to go next door to AutoZone. $9 for this one socket. What a pain in the butt. It's a half inch drive, so it's pretty awesome, but still, that sucks. This is why I shop at Harbor Freight. I do have a Harbor Freight, but it is nowhere near. It's about 20 minutes from here. Yeah, let's see if I break my hand doing this. There we go. This is why I like power tools. Things just work. If you're wondering what's in there, it's just a... Uh, it's an oiled spring. That's your shock absorber. Nifty. But all we really needed was this cap. So let's put the other cap on there. Let's see if they fit. And they do. Just super obnoxious that this cap is just a little bit smaller. And the fork receiver won't take the bigger cap. So how cute is that, eh? is crossed just so you get this thing going all over the place you know getting erect moped you don't know what you're getting into normally motorcycles I don't know if I'd, I'd deal too much with a wreck side because I know when you get in a wreck Insurance wise, they just usually total bites no matter what kind of damage is done. Uh, mostly because you don't know if the frame's bent or even worse if it's cracked. And on a motorcycle, you don't want to be falling apart at 150 miles an hour. This is just a little guy. Uh, even though I'm going to fix it up and go faster. Um, a little bit easier, I think, 
to mitigate risk like that. All right. I can't believe how easy that tube snapped. That's just, it's wild. This looks bent too. This little caliper bracket or whatever it is. I'm gonna order another one of those too. I could straighten it, I guess, but yeah, it's kind of thick. I don't know if I want to mess with that. All right, let's get that guy. springs are worth anything. Let me know in the comments uh, if the springs are worth anything. I, I don't I don't know. I don't think there's anything wrong with the spring. And uh, it's just going to be a um, tightness. But this one I was able to get off my hand. It was already kind of loose. So I'm just going to go ahead and screw that. Makes me wonder if that's bent or not. Don't know. I never dealt with this type of fork before. So I'm gonna open this up a little bit. So it feels like it stops with about a half inch of gap on the top, so that's got to be it. Good. Let's see. Right. It's backwards, so it looks like that. Same pattern. Good. Put this back on, which I'm not sure at any point. Let's see if there's an out that. We'll do it. I guess just to be careful with the bolts, really. It doesn't really have much purpose at this point. I'm going to have to. I don't think I'm going to go too far in actually because these bent pretty bad. So just <laughs> not so bad. That's about it. I don't want to force it. This one's a little bit straighter. Let's put this one in here just keep it in place. Man, 
This one's pretty bad too. Alright, you know what you do in this kind of scenario? You zip tie. Because these are garbaggio. So maybe we'll get a little bag and keep these in just to keep track. And then uh, zip tie the thing in its position so we know where it goes. Man, <laughs> they're bad. I really hope there's nothing else wrong here. We are going to find out. Okay, well, can't find any zip ties. Garage is trashed as per usual. As per usual. So, found a piece of stiff wire. Just loop that right on through. Soon. In one ear, out the other. Enough. There we go. All right, so that's a new set of forks there. Let's go ahead and get the wheel on there. Let's we'll see if she'll hold air first. Three hundred fifty-two pounds. Max load at 25 psi. Let's see if we got any air in the old compressor. And we do. Oh, this wheel's bent, by the way. There ain't no way in hell that's going to be holding air. It's bent good. Which is fine. These are ugly-ass wheels. She'll still roll. So, we'll just put her back on for now. So I can move her around. pretty warped. <laughs> Man, is that sucker bent. Jeez. I thought it'd be easier to roll. Are you seeing this? That is a wobbly Walberson. That whole wheel is shot. conclude our broadcast day stay tuned and like and subscribe well, let's try to make some money here you know help me uh, repair this thing
I've seen a lot of other people will run these videos. Um, hey, why not me, right? All right. We'll see you next time. Well, it's an improvement. <laughs>